What up, everybody? Jay Polinko back, episode 8 this time. We did farming outside, and we are back. We're going to do it a little differently. I know I said I was going to go ahead and show you all about this challenge, but I just said nope, not at all. I'm going to go ahead and just farm up what I can and show you how far I can get with these Pokemon. So again, we have our Pontiac again so we kind of found him in the grass on our way out of Mount Moon at level 15 as a Spearow very rare indeed so I definitely got him up to 20 just by fighting in the grass and coming back to the Pokemon Center to heal etc so we can't really do much with that uh, other than that he's now level 20 so he's good uh, we got our Model T which is our Pikachu um, you know, at level 18, when did we have our Lambo and Porsche at 19 apiece? Uh, we found two Moonstones in Mount Moon, so we're definitely happy with that. And I'm definitely going to go ahead and continue through with this playthrough. Um, at the same time, when you're looking at it, we also have Kia, which is our Sand Shrew. But I probably won't be keeping it because I happen to fi find it in the grass. But again, I'm just not going to. I don't think I am. I think I'd rather have a better chance of getting a, a water type just to hold off while we have our Pingus, or our Model T, <laughs> which is our Pikachu. But let's go fight Gary, and we're going to do Nugget Bridge. Nugget Bridge is my favorite thing in the world, and I always love playing through that with a challenge without having to heal. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. And here's D-Bag Dingus. Yo! Pingus. You're still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. <laughs> here, let me show you what you caught. Penis. So I don't even know what's going on with that. And I'm definitely going to go ahead through and try to figure this out. And get through it without having to lose. So Pidgeotto's first. Which I kind of knew he was going to have Pidgeot all the way through. Which is okay. We got a uh, first attack. He's gonna use quick attack. Ugh. Okay, it's not bad. Cool, got a critical hit. Yes, that's a good way to start. Get out of here. Okay, Abra's next. So we're just gonna go with our basic attacks here. He's gonna try to use teleport. Which, I don't know why he's using teleport. Alright, paralyze. Well, I guess that's what he's going to do. So that's okay. Easy experience. Good job, Pikachu. And then we got Rattata. Uh, we're going to go with Lambo on this one. Uh, go with the horn attack. Ooh, girl, look at that. Ooh, he had Hyper Fang? Yikes. Okay, that's not bad. I thought it was going to kill me. Oh, wow, that didn't deserve a critical hit. Maybe the first one did. Then he's going to use Bulbasaur, which we're going to go ahead with our Pontiac, which is our awesome sauce. So we're going to go ahead and peck him to death. And almost a one-hit KO on that. And then he's going to use Vine Whip, which does absolutely diddly squat, which is okay. All right. Good job. Hey, take it easy. You won already. Hey, guess what? I went to Bill's house and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to the Pokedex. After all, Bill's a world-famous Pokemaniac. He invented a Pokemon storage system on PC. Since you're using his system, go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Um, okay, so that was it for the first round of that. That was pretty good. Um, I thought he was going to kill Pikachu like right off the bat because it was looking a little grim. But it's okay. We got through it. With a little luck and a little faith, we definitely got the RNG gods on our side to not kill Model T. So let's go ahead through and continue our uh, escapades here. I think there's something back there. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Sorry about that. 
something back there, which I don't remember what it was, but I'm not going to worry about it. So on to our first challenge of the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five traders and win a fabulous prize. You think you got what it takes? Of course, man. I'm the Pingus. I got everything that it takes. All right, Caterpie's the first one out. And we're going to go ahead with our Model T and try to just run through that. All right, very good. All right, we got Model T at level 19. This is good. And Weedle. All right. Ooh, critical hit. Whatever. All right. So did I. <laughs> nice. Pingus has defeated the bug catcher. Take all the Pingus. I'm second. Now it's serious. I really hope you give me a challenge, girl. Oh, Pidgey. Okay, cool. Good challenge. Show him the thunder shot. Oh, no. Quick attack. No. I don't have defense. So I'll do the same thing you did. Neither ran female. Let the girls fight. Alright. Scratch attack. And you growl. You girl. Kinda need something better than scratch. Cause tackle's definitely not doing it. Ugh. Alright. Cool. Alright, next on our list is the third challenge. Now I'm number three. It won't be easy. All right, youngster. Let's see what you got. Probably youngster Joey. He made it all the way here. Okay, he used tail whip, which is going to be bad. Oh, boy. That's bad. Oh, okay. Cool. Let's go with Pontiac on this one. Kind of need something to just pass away right now. Um, and seeing Pikachu that low, I kind of need him, but at the same time, I really don't. <laughs> Okie dokie. Fairy attack wins. And Zubat. Ugh. I wish I had a better Thunder type. Like, as soon as we get Electabuzz, Model T gonna go in the back for a Charger. And I'm basically gonna name him Charger right off the back. Because Electabuzz is so much better. Challenge number four. Getting tired? Not really. But I am getting pretty hyped. Alright, so it sends out Pidgey again. Uh, having the Pikachu that weak can't afford to lose it right now um, I definitely wish it was right to but I had to do a whole lot of work to get that but that's okay it's cool oh no they're sand in my eyes He's just souped up strong. Like, I like Firo. Like, it's really souped up in power. And it's one of the strongest birds in the first generation. So I was like, alright, cool. Oh no, I forgot I have sand attack. No, don't don't growl me. Alright, cool. Alrighty. Perfect. Last part of that. Ah, uh, number five. I'll stomp you.
I do junior trainer camper or whatever. Oh, look, it's Banky. See, that's what I needed from the first gym, and I couldn't even find it. Which is okay. You're probably going to get scraped now. Give him a couple pecs. Uh, just one will do. <laughs> Whoa. Critical hit indeed. Yes. All right. Whoa, too much. Slow down. Congratulations, you beat our five contestant trainers. You just earned a fabulous prize. Something that's worth 5,000 points. Yay. By the way, would you like to join Team Rocket? We're a group dedicated to evil using Pokemon. Want to join? Are you sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Oh, so our first Team Rocket, uh, even though I skipped everybody in the Elite Four down there, or uh, in Mount Moon, I definitely just skipped them. <laughs> I didn't want to go through all that. Oh boy, no! I hate rap. Like, rap is so good, but yet so bad. It's like, I can't even attack out of it. I really wish I could forget Growl and Leer. Like, I need something else. Uh... Alright, cool. So we can use Lambo and go for the horn attack. And probably oh, we're almost one light. One shot him. Oh. So I for keep forgetting that in this game, bug is strong against poison. And poison is strong against bug, which means there's no flip flop. It's crazy. And for a Zubat. Using leech life, I didn't expect that. I thought it'd be not very effective, but again, it's not generation two that fixed that, so I had to take a super effective, which was caught me off guard. <laughs> I was like, Oh man, what? But I forget that bug and poison and poison and bug flip flop and they're super effective against one another. The bug all the way can kill a psychic type, which is pretty funny, uh, considering that Mega Horn was Generation Two, and the only Pokemon who could learn it was Heracross. So having that against like psychic types like Alakazam, Mewtwo, it was perfect. Um, but no other Pokemon can learn it until maybe about Gen Three or Four, uh, when Rapidash, you know, learned it, and Beedrill, other people who had a horn could learn it. Team forty-five. Not sure which one that was, but that's good to have. Now we're going to go talk to Bill. So I'm kind of going to get, get try to get through here. I just got to Mount Moon, but I'm ready. All right. Oh, man, I believe this is like one of those boulder dudes. Oh, man, I don't have a water type at all. Okay, it's Machop. It's like Machop and Gia, dude. All right. Oh, man. What a perfect way to start. Good job, Model T. Ugh. All right. Level 20. Good job. See, I told you I don't have any defense. I just I take it like a... This is bad. Uh, let's go with Lambo on this one. So we're stuck here. I can't really do a whole lot of damage to the rock types because I don't have anything that's super effective to them yet. No ground types, no water types, not even a grass. So I'm stuck doing, oh, okay, that was pretty good. So I'm stuck doing this. Oh man, come on, don't raise your defense now. 
So the same thing like we did against Brock, we cheesed the whole thing. Okay, well, that was how we had to do that. Pingus defeated the hiker. You worked hard. Yes, yeah, alright, hard Pingus. I'm trying to skip these guys down here because I kind of want to get to build now just so I don't have to worry about it. Alright, need a ram theme or mail, regular mail. Need a ram mail. Okay, I keep forgetting I fear poison sting, so I have to go with a poison type that does not affect me a whole lot. Alright, cool. Alright, Lambo's level 20. This is good. I think it's a little too late for Growl, but that's okay. I'm out to see a Pokemon Collector at the Cape. Yeah, well, so am I. Oh, man! this is the real challenge right here just not having a water Ugh. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and try to cheese it. Stop using the defense girl. Oh man. At least I got him poison, so this will be okay. And me without a water type. Wonder if anybody else had a predicament like this. He's not even he's not even dead yet. I got three more to go. Alright. Is he dead now? Alright, good. Whew. That was just one. Here's Geodude number two. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Why would the ending of an episode have to be for Geodude? Like, come on. So much defense, Carl. Stop it. Oh, he got a critical. No. I don't want to lose. I'm too cute. I'm cute and cuddly.
<sighs> oh, I got a critical hit in there. Yay. <sighs> Please stop. Okay. Two down. I think two to go. But I'm going to end it right here. Uh, oh, no, it's Machop. Oh, perfect. All right, cool. Never mind. I won't end it yet. <laughs> oh, cool. This is, this is easy pickings right here. Just peck him once and he's dead. There you go. <laughs> oh, fantastic. And our Pontiac GT is at 21. Uh, of course, another Geodude. Oh, fuck. All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to end it right here. Comment, like, and subscribe. Definitely tune in for the next episode. Um, we're going to go ahead and get to Misty in the next episode and fight the little girl into submission and make sure that she cries out with all of her mist. But again, thanks again for watching. Peace out, YouTube.